What is going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to overlap letters in Adobe Illustrator CS6. It's really easy and simple to do. But before I begin, I want to go ahead and apologize for not posting any videos for the past two weeks because I've been really sick like the past couple of days, especially last week. It was just horrible. Like on Saturday, it was the worst thing ever. I felt like doing nothing, completely nothing. But now that I feel a little better, you can probably notice that I still kind of sound sick. And I really want to provide you guys quality content rather than just upload videos out of the blue. Also, comment down what videos you guys want to see. And uh, again, guys, I am sorry, but I am back now. Um, and I hope I get better as I, you know, as time goes on. So let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial. All right, so first you want to go ahead and open up uh, Adobe Illustrator, of course, and you want to go ahead and type in winter or whatever you're going to be typing in. I, I should type in spring because spring is kind of almost here, but I'm going to just type in winter for the time being because it's, you know, it's freaking cold here in Utah. So I'm going to just type in winter there and the font I am using is have heart one. I don't think it's a free font, but you can find similar ones like lobster. Just look up, uh, just look up brush fonts, I believe, or script fonts and you will find free fonts at dofffont.com. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but, uh, here it is winter. And, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we want to select the text here and we want to go ahead and press command shift and uh, O to make it an object click off of it and you can tell that it's now an object you can't edit it or whatever so make sure what you're gonna be doing is um, is final because you can't go back and change it and then after that we're gonna go ahead and ungroup all of the text so press command shift and uh, G to ungroup it and then click off of it and now you can click on each single one. So select the first one that we're going to be overlapping. In this case, we're going to be doing the letter I over the N. So it's just going to keep this little piece right here. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and go over again to object, go down to compound path and click on make. And this will make a compound path to just have it so it's just itself. Um, so it doesn't affect any other layers. Go ahead and uh, select this one or letters I meant and then press command C to make a copy because we're gonna have to be we're gonna have to paste it in the end result, right? Uh, so go ahead and bring up the pathfinder. If you guys don't have that go to window go down to pathfinder or shift command F9 for the shortcut and then here is the pathfinder. It's a little window. So select this make sure to make a copy command C or control C if you're on a PC click on the rectangle tool or M for the shortcut and then go ahead and just make a square around the um, this box here and or around this little um, loop that will go around. All right. So once you've drawn your box uh, on top of the letter here that you want to go ahead and overlap, hold down shift and this will allow you to select multiple uh, letters or objects in Adobe Illustrator. I'm pretty sure this also works in Photoshop, but I believe that's command. Anyway, so once we have both of them selected, uh, we want to make sure that this does not overlap the top letter. So we want to go ahead and make this smaller, just like that. Select both of these and then select intersect to intersect it. And you'll be left with this little piece here. That's what you want. If you, ha if you have any like little black dots or whatever left, you want to go ahead and erase that with the eraser tool. Um, that's going to be in this part here, which I'll show you later. So go to object and then go to path and then go down to offset path. And this is the trick here. Um, this is what actually makes the effect. So click on preview to know what you're doing. The offset, I don't like to go too high because it makes it, you can't really see the effect. So I stick around four, four or five, depending how big the text is and the uh, meter limit. And the joins right here is round because our text is round. We're going to go ahead and select round. If you have like more of a straight uh, text or round or straight edges, I would stick with midter, I believe, but because it's uh, round. So click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, select the inside, the original little object there. So hold shift and select both objects. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and select uh, unite to unite those together so that it's one object and then we're going to go ahead and hold down shift and click the next letter next to it that you want to overlap which is the letter N 
and then press minus front and that will get rid of the front part of the letter N and it will be left with this. Now you're going to be left with that. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. The reason why we copied the letter is because we have to paste it. All you have to do is press command F to paste in front and you'll be left with this. Now if you want to get rid of that, it's very easy. Just go to the eraser tool and get rid of that just like that. All right, so now to do the letter N to overlap over the letter T here, we'll make sure that we copy the letter. So press command C. So once it is copied, we want to go ahead and draw a little square, a little box on this piece there. Hold down shift and click on both of the objects. Then click on intersect, go to object, path, and then go down to offset path. Click on preview. You could always change this if you want. But I'm going to just click OK. Look for the original path. Hold shift and click. Then click on unite. Then go and select the letter T. And then click minus front. Click off of it. And then press command F. And that will paste it right over it. Same thing for this one. Um, if you want to do the same thing, just go to object. And compound path. Make. And you guys know how it's going to look like to, in uh, the end. And that's really cool. That's pretty much about it, guys. Uh, it's really self-explanatory. It's just the same exact steps. So just keep that in mind. And then the final result will look really, really cool, especially if you use your overlay in Photoshop. If you're going to bring this in Photoshop or use it as a logo, you can use that as well and put it on pictures. It looks really great. And I, pers I know it looks really weird. It looks boring and black and white. But when you add color and everything, it looks fantastic. So that is it for this tutorial. If you guys found this in any way entertaining or helpful, please leave a rating below. That will be awesome. Subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. Comment down what you guys want to watch in the next episode. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.